Looks like they're looking for Mr. Stucky, but I think we all know what happened to him. All right. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. I bet she is. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what a small town has it. There's a lot of, like, motion blur when you move. I mean, just, like, watch this. You can see the motion blur off of his face. <laughs> Some oh read. Have you seen this man? He's got a knack for winning contests. All right. Um, is that the only one? No, you didn't. Richard Blair on a camping trip. Oh come on! Do we have a cell phone in the game we can call? Maybe if we, maybe I'll have to come back to that maybe sometime. That'd be awesome if that worked. Okay, that's where she is. There's a breaker, which means the light's going to come off again. Because I'm a smart guy. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Ah, see? I have a cell phone, which means I can call that number. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men already Did you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Uh, didn't I just do something stupid? Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! Oh, I'm scared. They won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Looks like this guy knows what's going on or something. Oh, manuscript page. In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! Can you help me? Turn the lights on! Maybe I can turn the lights on for him. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See? Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? i tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something 
something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. I believe you, brother. I believe you. All right. Maybe turning on that light did something. What was the TV over here? What does that do? Yeah, well, I don't hear Nothing. All right, let's go. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Not yet. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Let's see if we can go up here. No. Let's check behind the ambulance. Oh, focus. Yeah, that's where the we're going. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. All right, just checking. Got a bit thorough. Anything in there? No. He said a hole in the fence. Probably in here. Yeah, bitches! Whoop, oh, is that a manuscript page? The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? All right. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. No. Okay, I tried. Just checking everything out. Whee! Uh oh, where'd he go? Oh, okay, there he is. Oh shit. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Oh. Did you hear that? He said long and hard. <laughs> Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff 